हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय ब्लॉग एडिक्टेड सोल आई एम तुषार रस्तोगी एंड टुडे वी आर हेयर टू रिव्यू अ न्यू पेन सो एज दिस से दैट अ पेन इज माइटियर देन अ सोल्ड व्हिच क्लियरली स्टेट्स दैट अ पेन इज आल्सो अ वेपन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू आर्मोमेंट व्हिच इज नॉट अ सोल्ड instead it's much more smitter and forceful than the sword so this is the pen this is the pen as you can see so this is the pen in oil paint brush stroke as you can see oil paint brush stroke textured art design in earthy wooden colors which gives you a fondness of holding a picasso rarity in your hand but as they say this is a weapon so this is a swadeshi pen manufactured by kanpur writers from kanpur uttar pradesh india it's a uh, made in india pen and these kanpur writers are oem of best quality nibs and pens for many global brands uh, the name of this pen is this model is canwrite heritage they have named this pen heritage because this pen indeed inherits a uh, unspoken patrimony in its design structure and build quality so let's take a look at it in detail and analyze this beautiful pen so as i have already called this pen a weapon so according to my imagination and explanation i found this pen design similar to an indian club or in older days what we used to call um, mukdars if you can see the shape of the pen it's like mukda so mukdars are type of exercise equipments used by the ancient warriors and athletes to strengthen themselves similarly this fountain pen is used to present the resistance in movement of your fingers to develop the strength of your words with the mobility of your handwritten script and i must say that this pen is top of the line range weapon of kanpur writers so it has a shape of a gada or a, a, a in english we can call it a mace so which you bajrangbali used to carry or i would say the fighters used to carry the weapon which is known as popularly known as gada in india so it's kind of a shape of a gada uh with a collective result of various parts to achieve the final shape and starting from the top of the cap which is crowned by almost a diamond shaped finial that pins the clip to the top of the cap see here and the cap has a plastic vial inside if you see see this the cap has this plastic vial inside which is commonly fitted to protect and prevent the nib from drying out so this is one aspect of this pen now let's move further then comes this golden clip this golden clip which has got the branding imprinted on it 
a thick golden ring at the end of the cap which again shows us the branding can write if you can see it the can write is written here see but it misses the name of the pen heritage i think they must they must have they should have written can write heritage here so right from the top finials to the bottom of the pen it definitely gives a stylish exclusive high class feel in the hand if i talk about the presentation of this pen it's marvelous and the total weight of the pen is around if i say it's inked pen so it it's around 22 to 23 grams when capped and inked and uninked it uh, is it is around between it's around 20 grams and uncapped it's approximately 15 grams not more than that so overall this weapon gives you an elegant look and feel the pen is around 5 and 1/2 inches long when the cap is on and posted it reaches to 6.25 inches if you will see posted it elongates to 6.25 inches and the cap of this pen this cap the cap of this pen it has got a twist mechanism so it comes off in 2 and a half turns 1 2 and half 1 2 and half so two and a half turns and the uncapped cap now this is the uncapped version this is the uncapped cap that reveals this fantastic nib if you can see this nib this is a fantastic nib of size 6 hash 6 which also is called as 35 mm nib and this is the in house nib that comes in the variant with different tips tip variant starting from extra extra fine extra fine fine medium broad double broad and more and this one is a double broad nib regular double broad nib so nib options can also be chosen from flex ultra flex normal stub oblique etc whichever is your choice so kenright makes some of the best nibs in india in both steel and gold metals so here the heritage displays a considerably shiny section and now you can see the section it displays a considerably shiny section with a significant shape appreciable design and distinguished chinch that tapers mildly towards the nib with a slight blaze if you can see here with a slight blaze just below the end of the nib and the exemplariness of the section makes it stand out in the pen as you can see this is the section so the section is fitted with complete nib unit this is a nib unit and if you want i can get get it out for you this is a unit this is fitted with a complete nib unit which can be unscrewed in just 5 turns which i did right now and the best this is the best part of the pen that you can change the nib whenever you want so this is a plastic casing that accommodates the nib and the ebonite feed and this completes the unit and can be replaced with other nib units of different choices so the ebonite feed complements the nib very well as you can see this is the casing and the nib 
and this is the ebonite feed here it's a beautiful dual tone double broad regular nib embedded in the section so just one so the next part that we can cover is um, below this section we have these below this below this section we have these threads and below the threads we have a classic ink window as you can see this is the ink window this window helps to check the ink levels and the movement of the mechanism inside the filling mechanism inside so you can check out the movement of that uh, filling mechanism plus the level of the inks like you can see it just now the level of the inks i hope you are able to see the level of the inks so this window is around 5 mm in size and in width and is surrounded by two of these golden rings from top and bottom see these are the golden rings in the pen on the top and the bottom and then comes the barrel at the end of which there is another golden ring following this comes this cover which protects the knob like structure which is visible after this cap is unscrewed in five turns 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the now so this is now this is now reveal that this is a piston filler as you can see the knob so this pen is a piston filler pen and the displayed knob is used to move the piston up and down this knob if you rotate it clockwise and anti clockwise if you and put it in the ink but you will be able to fill the ink with the help of this knob which moves the piston inside the barrel and the knob takes around 6 turns respectively to move the piston in each direction in upward direction and the downward direction so this ink piston can suck around 1.2 to 1.5 ml of ink inside as you can see the girth of this barrel is pretty wide say it this is around 1.5 to 1.75 inches this circumference so it's a pretty decent ink storer so now the most important part is the quality and contriving of this astonishing fountain pen the fountain pen completely is made of cellulose acetate butyrate popularly known as cab c a b so it's sort of a plastic and is which is which have got high viscosity properties high transparency and glossy surface as you can see the gloss of this pen glossy surface and it's resistant uh, resistant to moisture and the ultraviolet rays so because of these properties this material is used to make majorly demonstrator pens so if you pass the light through this pen you will see, you can you can see the shine of the pen so most of the transparent and demonstrator pens are made of this material and another good thing is that it's better than abs plastic and it's near to the acrylics and is eco friendly and durable material and it's also scratch resistant overall this is a apt material for manufacturing budget friendly pens uh so let's move on further with the costing of this pen this pen costs around say approximately rupees 1500 indian currency or say around dollar 22 or below and this is a budget friendly pen basically for students affordable by office goers who like to write with the fountain pens and also the daily writers like me 
who likes to write a page for their daily practice so this is a complete workhorse pen and it's a complete package in this beautiful design and this can be this pen is available online and it all it can also be purchased directly from the manufacturers and other resellers online and offline so let's move on to the best part is the writing samples of this pen so let's start with the writing samples or oh, today what i ink i am using in this pen is this dayton havana brown and let's see how this beautiful nib performs on the paper so let's see pretty wet writer the double broad nib and it's really smooth so this pen is can write heritage with a double broad nib and regular so the first writing test is no skipping no issues with the nib the nib is really smooth and what you can see is that you can see the sheen in the ink if you can see can you see so let's check the line variations now so this is the normal line if i press the nib pretty hard so slight variation in lines you can see otherwise there is not much of a line because it's already a bb nib so you can see not much of a variation but it's super smooth nib and it's magnificent nib the tip writes on the paper like you are flowing a butter on a pan and the butter is flowing immensely on the pan without any stopping so if i talk about the reverse writing Yes, it writes in reverse order also, reverse nib also, but it's pretty much scratchy, very much scratchy as you can see, you can make out from the sound of the scratchiness of this pen. So what about the wetness? Let's see the wetness of this pen now. Very wet amazing nib lots of ink is flown from the feed to the nib and this feed really complements the nib very well they complement each other very well i must say this uh, can write pens i love you i love using can write pens and they are one of, among the daily writers of uh, in my usage and 
दे आर रियली वैल्यू फॉर मनी पेंस एज दे आर देर निप्स आर सुपर्ब एंड दे आर फिलिंग मैकेनिज्म इज ग्रेट इवन इफ यू गो फॉर अ लो बजट पेन और से अराउंड अंडर फाइव हंड्रेड और टू हंड्रेड रुपीज और थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑफ रुपीज कैन राइट पेन इट विल गिव यू द सेम अमाउंट सेम प्लेजर ऑफ राइटिंग विच दिस पेन इज गिविंग सो ऑल द कैन राइट पेन्स आर रियली ग्रेट एंड दे आर निप्स मैग्निफिसेंटली मैन्युफैक्चर्ड निप्स आई मस्ट से सो so that's all pretty much if we are going to talk about the pros and cons of this beautiful pen here as you can see and uh, another thing that i want to share with you is that these are the sections that replaceable sections that i was talking about so these sections can be purchased separately so that you can fix them in replace them in your section in the pen and use them so this is a pen with uh, multiple nib replacement options and that to in a tight budget or a fixed budget so these comes very cheap i have got these uh, broad flex broad stub double broad left oblique and some other nibs also from canrite which i have already used in this pen because this pen i have been using this pen for around a year now and i really i'm really very happy with the performance of this pen so if we are talking about the pros and cons of this pen so this is a affordable budget pen as per my observation and my recommendation it has a great design great finish sturdy built quality and dashing features i must say this is a very 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 handsome pen in terms of its look and feel and stats so and is it it, is, it can be serviced very easily you can open up all the parts uh, and you can do the servicing like this is the knob that comes out and then the cap clip comes out cap is there and then you can remove the cover of the piston then if you want to unscrew the piston you can uh unscrew it by rotating it anti clockwise and the threads will rotate and the piston will come out do the service do the silicon greasing and then comfortably again screw it and yes back to work so it's a very user friendly pen i must say and and very well balanced pen yeah that's a very important thing that this pen is a really well balanced pen when you are choosing it posted also and non posted also it gives a charm it works like a charm actually when you are writing so it also can be used as a nice gift options as i always say in my videos i like to gift fountain pens to my uh, friends and it give a classy look it gives a classy look in the hand smooth and interchangeable nib options as i have already told and collect it's it's a collectible work horse with the buffet of nibs available Mm, the only con that i see with this pen is i would like to see this pen in premium acrylic and ebonite models also uh, what you say is that one is always is not enough so i want more so i would like to request kanpur writers and the, the manufacturers mr sandeep Uh, sandeep ji so if you can make a premium acrylic and ebonite model available so that would be great and the knob of this piston this piston knob if this can be made in the same material as the body of the pen instead of this cheap plastic that is being used so that would also be great so that will give a tremendous amount of boost in the performance and the look and feel of this pen 
so that's all for now from my side and i will be back with another video and if i have to give uh, another one thing last but not the least is the rating which i would like to give this pen is 9 out of 10 and work horse magnificent class c heritage collectible these are the words that can be used to define this pen genuinely i love my pen and keep loving your fountain pens with this i end my video today and i really would like people to use fountain pens in their daily life because it helps students and children to improve their handwriting and they are a legacy they are really a legacy you can buy this pen gift it to your younger uh, younger generations your loved ones and they will remain with them as it is for years and years and years maybe you will be there or not but this pen will always be there with them so i highly recommend please 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 use fountain pens instead of using those cheap ball pens so for that no for no further things and now it's time to end the video we'll catch up with i'll catch up with you some other video some other pen and some other things for now it's good night salam sasriyakal namaskar shabakhair har har mahadev vande matram thank you